This equation can be graphed by interpreting it in slope-intercept form. The coefficient of the x is going to represent the slope. So in this case, we have a slope of negative 3 over 5. And the thing that's added or subtracted at the end is going to be the y-intercept. Because we're subtracting 2, that means our y-intercept is at negative 2. And therefore, our graph actually goes through negative 2 on the y-axis right here. The slope of negative 3 over 5 tells us how we change from this point. Remember, slope is change in the y value over change in the x. So in this case, I go down 3 when I go over 5. So I can count that out from my point. To get to my next point, I go down 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I get the next point on the graph. I can graph the point here, but you'll notice I can't really go any further on this graph. But what I can do is go in the opposite direction. I can go instead up 3 and back 5 and find my next point, which should line up with the other two. And now that I have three points on the line, I can just draw a line through them and put arrows at the ends. So overall, the graph is going to look something like this. And we remember that we can interpret this as the set of all ordered pairs, all x and y values, which make my original equation up here true. So any ordered pair I find on here, if I plug in the x and the y, it should result in a true equal statement. Hope that helps. Thank you.